Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. We are back with Dan's coin review and valuations. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the United Kingdom 1921 one florin coin. We're going to start off with the design on the coin. We'll move on to the mintage figures, exactly how many was made for circulation in 1921. And then we'll finish off with the true value of the coin in uncirculated and in circulated conditions. So starting off on the right hand side this evening, we have got the portrait of King George V. Looking to the left, George V, Roman numerals for five on the left hand side. Plenty more lettering around the top and round the edge of the coin, which stands for by the grace of God, King of all Britons, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. On the left hand side, you have got the stunning quartered shield. You've got the crowned house sign of England at the top and bottom in the middle. On the right hand side, the house sign of Scotland. And on the left, we have got the harp, the house sign of Northern Ireland. Finishing off in the middle of the coin, we have got the Garter Star. So now we're going to move on to the mintage figures of the coin. Exactly how many was released for circulation in 1921? That figure should be on the screen now, 34,863,800. And that is quite a high mintage figure for the time. A perfect uncirculated coin will fetch between 20 to 25 pounds. And a used condition coin like you see here, only four to five pounds, which definitely isn't bad for a one florin over a hundred years old. Now, when it comes down to the silver content in the one florin coins, after 1919, the silver content did actually change from 0.925 silver to only 0.5. So if you do have a florin from 1920 onwards, unfortunately, it isn't going to be worth anywhere near as much as those 1919 and older versions. If you do want to check your coin out, if you want to get it in a video and check the value of it, please do let me know. Stay safe and as always, thanks for watching.